Just love the night. It's my favorite time. Next today. Come on, Wig. Turn off your tail and get to bed. We've got a lot to do tomorrow. Yeah. Get up early, make the beds, worry about what milk was made for breakfast. Ugh. Daytime's such a drag. Sometimes I wish it would just stay night forever. <sighs> well, Gorga, it's six o'clock in the morning. The start of another bright, beautiful day. Huh? Hey, where's daytime? It's night! All right! Yes, ma'am, it's dark here, too. No, sir, I don't know what happened to the sun, but we're going to find out. Yes, yes, I know. We're working on it! Hello? It's about time you showed up. The whole planet's in an uproar. It should be daytime on our half of the planet and nighttime on the other it's all Wig's fault. He wished it would always be night. But I... Citizens of uh, Zula, huh? it is I, Dark Tudor, with today's impossible demand. You must accept me as master of the cosmos, or you'll never see daylight again! <laughs> Truder. I should have known this was his doing. Furthermore, from now on, every Thursday will be Why I Love Truder Day. The winning essay will... Please deposit 50 cents for another three minutes. What? Operator, do you know who this is? I'm Dark Truder! Three times villain of the year, feared throughout the galaxy! I will not be ignored! Scary. They should see you in your cowboy jammies. Operator, I demand you. Okay, team. We've got to recover daytime from Truder's grasp. Yeah, but how? We don't even know how he did it. Let's check the multipedia. Daytime happens because the sun shines on a planet, such as the Earth, producing daylight. Then that explains it! Truder must have stolen the sun! Oh, this is so like him. I disagree. The sun is over 1,000 times the size of the Earth. I seriously doubt even Truder could find a hiding place for something that big. Then how did he do it, Molto? Oh, frankly, I'm baffled. I suggest we do more research before taking any action. And I say we blast off, hunt Truder down, and make him tell us where he's taking it. Okay, let's calm down. Zeter, you, Gorg, and I will take off and look for Truder. Molto, you stay here and do more digging into your books. Wizzy, Wig, stick with Molto. You'll need reading light. Now let's get moving. 
This is a job for the Zula Patrol. <sighs> Seems like we've looked everywhere. There's no sign of Truder. Look! Huh. Gorgon spotted something! It looks like some kind of star! Hmm, something's not quite right here. According to our star map, there's no such star listed. Then let's take a closer look. Wait a minute. That's no star. It's a hunk of space rock, cleverly disguised with twinkle lights. Look, Zula Patrol, you fell right into my trap! <laughs> hmm, does that say geological strata or flugel mumper fit? Go! With the wig! I really could use some light! Oops. Oh. Hmm? That's it! That's how Truda stopped daylight! He didn't steal the sun, he simply stopped planet Zula from turning! Huh? Look, let's pretend this ball is our planet, and Wig here is the sun! Now, day and night don't happen because the sun goes on and off. The sun stays on all the time, but our planet is always turning, and the sun only shines on one side of it at a time! Oh, I get it! So it's daytime on the side where the sun's shining, and nighttime on the other side. But I don't feel like we're turning. Neither does he. That's because the world is so big and you are so small in comparison, like this ball is to this tiny bug. But mostly, it's because the world spins slowly. Here, let's look at it in my Multopedia. You see, the same thing happens on the planet Earth. When you're on the side where the sun is shining, it's daytime. But as the Earth turns, you'll later be facing away from the sun. That is nighttime. Unless, that is, some villain like Truder stops the world from turning. Right. Then it would always be night on one side of the world and always day on the other. Exactly. Now, let's check that with Iris on the other side of Zula. Iris, wake up. It's Malto. I am awake. I can't get any sleep. It's crazy, Molto. It's been daytime here forever. No one can sleep. The traffic never stops. The crickets have nothing to do. Thanks, Iris. She always was my favorite pupil. Gee, maybe permanent daytime's not so great either. Oh, I guess I should be careful what I wish for. I just want things back the way they were. It's no use! The ship won't budge! Bula, Zeta, we figured out how Truda stole daytime. He found a way to stop Zula from turning. Of course. Then that machine we saw must be a planetary paralyzer ray. Truder has it aimed right at Zula. That's why Zula can't turn. And why day and night have stopped. Yeah, and now we're stuck in the ray, too. We've got to get rid of that thing. Hmm. How do you get rid of a paralyzer ray? Ta-da! Okay, Gorga, it's time to gum up the works. What are they doing? No! My beautiful machine! I've got to save it! All right! We're moving!
Zula's turning again. Uh, isn't it turning a little fast? Uh-oh. Gumming up the ray must have kicked Zula into high speed. Hey, look! It's daytime! Yeah! No, it's night. No, it's day. No, it's night. It's day. It's night. Day. Night. Day. I got an idea. We need to get this rope around something on Zula so we can slow the planet down. Excuse me. Let go of my nose. So, Wig has learned to be careful what he wishes for, and the heroic, though dizzy Zula patrollers have once again saved the day and the night, and one tiny bug on a basketball. <sighs> Which reminds me, I need a nap. <laughs> Hi there, day and night fans! It's time for our Molto moment! Let's review what we've discovered about day and night. Look, let's pretend this ball is our planet. And Wig here is the sun. Now, day and night don't happen because the sun goes on and off. The sun stays on all the time. But our planet is always turning. And the sun only shines on one side of it at a time. You see, the same thing happens on the planet Earth. When you're on the side where the sun is shining, it's daytime. But as the Earth turns, you'll later be facing away from the sun. That is nighttime. Unless, that is, some villain like Truda stops the world from turning. Right, then it would always be night on one side of the world and always day on the other. That's it for now. Have a good day. Uh, or night. Or, or well, whatever. <laughs>